What is going on, Adventure Nation? We are out of Quartzite. We're here at Cabela's, and these guys are back. <laughs> <laughs> this is the motorhome experiment. We have left Quartzite. We are back in Phoenix, Arizona. We'll talk about these guys a little bit later on and what's going on with them and their breakdown in Tucson. Uh, we're gonna head over to a regional park here for a few days, but there's something that uh, happened yesterday, so go check that out. Well, we are on our way from Quartzite to Phoenix and we weren't recording anything because we were in I-10, straight shot, just what, about two hour drive, maybe an hour and a half drive in our first flat tire, so that kind of sucks. Now, our an hour and a half drive is gonna have to be a lot longer, because I guess we have to wait for roadside assistance for them to jack up the RV and put a new tire. Awesome. <laughs> Paul is not happy, by the way. So here's where it comes handy. All the tools that I always tell Paul that are useless, here's when he used them. It's always nerve-wracking to be next to the highway doing this. So, if you didn't know the spare is underneath there, so Paul is trying to unbolt the spare. And never done this before, so. Wow, it's pretty dusty. You can close that bay, honey, so you don't have to be ducking. So here's a spare. Always nice to have a spare because road assistants are not going to have really specific type of tires for your RV. And they're going to take four hours to get out here. So I'm going to try and turn this into a one hour, one hour layover rather than more. Well, I'm never gonna complain about the tools you have in the RV anymore. So what we did is I uh, used the, the jacks on the RV, put a, put some spacers underneath the jack so that I could jack this side of the coach, coach up, and then we'll get this tire off. What I just saw, these are regroovable. So I think once I get in, I'll just get these things regrooved and they'll be good as new. I don't think so. Let's get this thing off. Pretty nasty looking tire there, but it also took this out, took some wiring out underneath, took out the tow dolly fender. Yeah, if you so, see the fender of the dolly. All pretty nasty, but. So that's another plus of the dolly. The fender got destroyed by not the car. Wow, the car wouldn't have got hit either way, but. You don't think so? Nah. Okay, so that's me just being paranoid. Do 
we have roadside assistance? Yes. Was I gonna wait two or three hours or four hours for them? No way. Little did I know that a spark plug wrench hooked to this big thing would get us off the road in a hurry. Okay. So now the spare tire is already in, Paul already put it in place, and we are just blowing it up with this, our air compressor. Feeling, so feeling better? An air compressor? Yes, you need an air compressor. Of course, most people are going to call AAA. I don't like those guys. <laughs> but what if you're in the middle of nowhere? Like us going to Alaska. What? In what? the middle of where? Oh yeah, I guess in the, the middle, middle of, of nowhere. Middle of nowhere? We're still pretty close to Phoenix, but I'm talking about like in Alaska or something oh, like yeah. that. I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared. <laughs> uh, you can't stop this train. This train or this experiment? This experiment. <laughs> All right. Time to go on the road again. Time to go. How long was that, an hour? An hour. Yeah. Okay, wasn't that bad. I was already freaking out, calling roadside assistance, and my husband is like, what the heck are you doing? <laughs> are you coming? Yes, I need to turn off the flashers. Well, that was fun. I would not call it fun. So... How did it happen one day, right? Nothing happened, so that was a good thing. Just small damages. Well, no, it didn't have to happen. It's my fault. I'm still gonna blame all you people with the TPMS thing bugging me the other day. If I hadn't have started the whole TPMS thing, this wouldn't have happened, but it's still ultimately my fault. Obviously, one of the valves I put on for the TPMS leaked, and I didn't check the tires when we left this morning. The inside tire got low, caused too much weight on the outside tire, got hot, blew it. So, TPMS also would have helped that situation, so. What are you gonna do? We needed tires anyways, I just would rather not have done it in that particular way. Yep. That is true. I would have rather done it by choice, but how long were we on the side of the road? Uh, about an hour, you can. About one hour, folks. So we could have called roadside assistance, I could have had somebody do it for me, we would have been out here three, four hours, who knows. And I wasn't about to do that. So I'll throw on the spare. We'll limp into Phoenix. And in the next few days, while we're having the generator fixed, we will also get some new tires. We'll just do them all. It's about time anyways. So yeah, that was really fun yesterday on the side of the road changing a tire. But the good news is, is that I was able to change the tire. So we were only about an hour on the side of the road. fun though but it was the experience, I guess. Yeah, it was an experience. And it's not so much the blowing of the tire that sucks, it's the damage to the fender on the coach, the damage to the side light on the coach, the damage to the fender on the tow dolly. Some so, wiring too. Some wiring up underneath got shredded, so yeah, fun stuff. So now we are heading over to a place here in Phoenix that is able to get us in today. And we'll talk about that when we get over there because that is pretty awesome because a lot of places didn't have the tires, didn't have the, the ability to do them, but all they had the tires or couldn't do them, discount tire. And uh, yeah, there were some other places too that, oh yeah, we can sell you the tires, we just can't put them on. <laughs> that doesn't do us That's a whole lot of good. super handy. <laughs> So we're rolling over now to a place called SNS Tire and Service. And if the place is any indication by the guy Robert that I spoke to on the phone, it is gonna be awesome. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. We love good customer service. So. Oh, look who oh. just, somebody just came down or did he go up? <laughs> down. Oh, wow. I guess Ozzy was up top. So yeah, we had, 
Goodyear and we had Discount Tire both say that they could sell us tires, but they could not install them. I called these guys over here. They said that they could get us taken care of today. We're at s, &S Tire, and they said not only could they get the tires in for us, but they could get them in today and they could get them installed today. So we're heading inside now, talk to the guys, find out where they want us to, to park, and hopefully we'll be able to get these tires installed sometime today. All right, guys, so we're gonna actually get installed today, which is cool. So the next three hours, we're gonna have brand new tires. Dennis here is taking us around back. What I wanna do is just have you go ahead and pull it right here. Okay. This is where we do all the motorhomes. So we're gonna just pull right up onto the slab here, and this is where they do all the motorhomes, and they're gonna get us squared away. So that's pretty cool. You guys know we like to do a lot of off-road boondocking and stuff, so we're gonna have seven of these bad boys uh six on the coach one spare we'll be good to go we're not doing that obviously we're we're actually just getting normal tires put on and we're actually gonna do seven tires because you can see this spare that we put on yesterday is actually pretty scary see the the splitting in the tire here is is pretty bad so if you've got tires that are doing that right there and holy smokes that thing's hot if you got tires that are doing this then you it, you need to get them changed because that that's a sign that the top is separating and it's gonna have a blowout and do a lot of damage like we did yesterday so you can see we broke the fender we broke the light here there's some wires hanging down in there that cut those I think those are just the lights to here and then of course I think Lori showed you guys all this the other day but broke that bad boy too so good stuff really good stuff really happy about that all right, so you guys know from the quartzite video that we had a little issue with our little Jenny here. And so we are now at Cummins in Avondale. And Cummins is able to service this bad boy. So we're going to let them take it. It's going to be a couple of days even before they get to it to service it. Who knows how long it's going to be before we can actually get it repaired, but I'm sure they're going to tell us that as well but we're gonna drop it off keep our fingers crossed and hope for the best so yeah this is gonna take a while and there it goes bye our generator has left for repair it's gonna be good it's gonna <laughs> survive Paul <laughs> You guys can see here, these are all the tires that came off of our coach. This was a spare, that's a Hercules. This is a Sumitomo, that's a Goodyear, that was a Sumitomo. Then there was something else, and then a Gladi Gladiator. That's ridiculous to have that many different kinds of tires. And I didn't notice it, so I'm assuming the oddball tires were probably on the inside at the back, but that's pretty, uh, that's pretty crazy. And of course, then there's the one that was just completely trash. And I don't know what that one was, but that one there, obviously, pretty crazy. But the new ones are going on. They're working on them now. All of them are on the rims. Now it's just a matter of getting them on over here. Three hours later. All right, we got all six tires replaced on the old girl. And just got the spare put in with the guys. That was a nightmare. I don't know how I got that out on the side of the road because it took three of us with jacks and everything else to get that thing back up underneath there the uh, spare goes up underneath here and uh, yeah it was it was not a lot of fun we went with longer stems on the rear tires so now we'll be able to to easily get the TPMS and stuff on here which is nice although I don't see the other stem uh, it's got a longer stem on it now but it's not as long as I would have liked that but It'll be better, it'll work, and uh, we'll make it work. Now we're gonna head over to the Onan generator, actually Cummins, we're heading over there, and that's where we're staying for the next couple of days while they work on the generator. Are you ready to head over to Onan? I am ready, and I'm happy that we have new tires. <laughs> yeah, all right, cool, we'll see you over there. All right, leaving s, s Tire, heading over to our home for the night at Cummins generator service and s and s tire avondale so phoenix area i guess there's s and s tires all over phoenix and they absolutely rocked again 
always willing to give kudos when kudos are due and always willing to slam somewhere if it needs it. But these guys rock. The two technicians that worked on our coach, Daniel and Andy, they were awesome. And when I got back, we had a hard time getting the spare tire back up underneath the coach. But they stayed and helped me and worked on it and didn't complain. We actually laughed, had a couple of jokes. I know you guys find that hard to believe with me. But they were awesome. Robert in the office, great guy, took good care of us, got us in today, got us the tires we needed, made some suggestions on what tires we should use, and then just took good care of us. And Dennis in there, awesome guy as well, who got us checked in. Just a great experience from start to finish with SNS tire, so two thumbs up to them. And have no problem recommending that place. They were they were awesome. So now we've got brand new rims and tires on the, or not brand new, not rims, brand new tires on the coach, and we're ready to rock and roll for another whole bunch of miles. There's a sexy woman driving that car right there. Right there. I'm gonna try and catch up to her and maybe wink or something. Maybe I'll whistle at her. Girls love that. Got to show you guys this because this is really cool on the part of Owen and Generator. Actually, it's Cummins, which is Owen and Generator. Rocky Mountain is the company, the parent company, but Cummins and Owen and Generators, so cool. This is their service, sales and service. You're gonna have a hard time hearing it, seeing it, hearing it. No, you can hear it. You're not gonna be able to see it. See it because of the sun. Let me see if I can block it. If I can block it, then you can see it. There you go. So behind my head, there is the Cummins sales and service office, which is really, really cool. And then here at the far end of the parking lot, they have electrical hookups so that you can stay here overnight. Because obviously, if you've got a generator in there getting worked on, you probably don't have electrical. This gives you electrical. One of the things I have to show you though, Kevin was here first. He parked here first. There was nobody here. Kevin parked first. And then that guy parked right next to Kevin, which I don't quite understand because there was all of this. So... I don't know. If you're a viewer of Mars, could you ask yourself why you did that? Then let us know, because that's just weird. Like their slides are almost touching. It's crazy. Yeah. What is it about you and, and people just wanting to park right next to you? I don't know, but you're a sweetheart. Why? Because I actually tried to get Paul to park on the other side of them. Yeah, Kevin wanted, yeah. Kevin wanted me to park over there on that other side and then just open up our slides and he wouldn't do it <laughs> and leave the other six spots open <laughs> heart of gold heart of gold <laughs> all right so we're gonna we're done for the night we've actually got power which is good power is always the most important to us we don't really care about the other stuff water we've got on board power you could hit it with the generator but this allows us not to have to run the generator and you don't want to be putting your solar up when you're hanging out in a walmart parking lot or cabela's or something like that so yeah, especially We're gonna, when it's not on your roof yet. Yeah, when it's not on your roof. Yeah. Exactly. So, this is going to be our home for the night. Pretty cool. Kudos to Cummins. Huh? See what I did there? So, it is day three here at Camp Cummins, and we don't have a generator yet. So, we're going to go check on that now, but we're going to go out and we're also going to pop around Phoenix. There's something called First Friday Phoenix, which is some art thing. Going to go check that out. And then of course we're in Phoenix, so where are we going? I said, as Laura, it's not me, it's Laura. We're going to Ikea. Just saying. Don't blame us. Now, Just saying. I, I will say, Lori likes, doesn't like to mention Ikea because every time we're in Phoenix, we're in Ikea. Ikea is a great spot for finding small living stuff. So that's why we go there a lot. If you need a small couch, where do you go? Ikea. If you need a small piece for a closet, Ikea. Is where we got our desk where we got our desk for our coach. So you need small space stuff. Ikea specializes in small space stuff and they have small spaces set up so you can actually see how it works in some tiny, tiny spaces. So that's why we go there so much. We won't film that today though, but we are hanging out with those guys. See, she's alive, just so you know. She there. made it. Laura's alive. Well, I nice. think the channel knows, but Laura Oh yeah, you guys may not know. So are you guys okay with us telling? Yeah. Laura had a freaking heart attack. But of course, a lot of that was probably because she lives with Kevin, which I can totally understand. Yeah, a little health scare in the Miller coach. So but she's okay. She's okay though. 
but we're probably going to have a change of plans. Cabo is probably not going to happen. It's actually not going to happen. Yeah. We're going to make a change of plans, but that just means yeah. we get to spend more time here in the United States with you guys. So. And I'm sorry. It's like that means Laura might get a little bit more quiet than usual because she just went through that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the good thing that's coming out of this whole thing is Laura is going to quiet down a little bit, maybe not speak as much, and we'll be able to get a word in edgewise. We have made our way out of Ikea. Now it's dinner time. We're coming back to a place Lori and I ate the other night called Green New American Vegetarian Restaurant. They have a big whack, so we're gonna get the big whack. Are you up for a big whack? <laughs> so the girls are already in line when we were here oh the other God, night. So it so was good. just crazy long line, so see what happens. Are you ready for a big whack? I'm not getting the big whack. Oh, okay. She's ready. She's ready for a big whack. <laughs> This is the ice machine and water machine, and these are a bunch of ice cubes. You may not get that, but that's pretty funny. We have got some food craziness going on, Lori. What do you got? The chameleon taco? Chameleon taco and a barbecue sandwich. Cool. Chame chameleon taco. And again, this is the Big Whack. Looks like a Big Mac. We've got some buffalo wings, another big whack, and then we have a salad of goodness, a chicken salad. Chicken salad, oh, peanut chicken. Looks delicious. You ready for your big whack? Seriously, this place has been non-stop since we got here. The line hasn't gotten any smaller. Check that out, just And they're lined up out the door. Here, you check it, check out, out the door. Outside. How delicious was that, gang? It was good. It was awesome. It was very, very good. Two thumbs up. So now we are off to downtown Phoenix, and we're gonna go to something called First Friday. It's February, and we are with no sweaters. Yes. How cool is that? Nice. Shorts. February, no. no, no. We are in downtown Phoenix. We're at First Friday. First Friday here seems very similar to First Friday back home in Las Vegas. A lot of art, a lot of uh, music and things like that. A lot of jewelry and all kinds of cool stuff. So we're gonna check it out and let you guys know what we find. Very similar to Las Vegas, right? It is. I, well, there's one difference. So there's more adult only. Right. Here there's a uh, Girl Scout selling cookies. <laughs> <laughs> So cool and something for everybody. So it's just a big street fair. Chaos. And it's a little bit crowded, but it's pretty cold though. Yeah. What are you eating? Yep. Kettle corn. My first time. Your first time eating kettle corn? Yeah. So it's pretty good. Wow. <laughs> Couldn't see for looking. Checking out the art? Yes. Pretty cool stuff. 
And then we're here in Phoenix, and you never know who you run into. <laughs> What's happening? What's there? happening? How are you, Welcome brother? To Phoenix. <laughs> That's crazy. No, this place is crazy. Oh, this is nuts, isn't it? And Robert just disappeared off into the crowd. Just like that. Just like that. That was uh, that was crazy. We ran into Robert obviously in Quartzite, and that was kind of crazy. But to run into him here, we didn't know till just I don't know an hour ago that he was here. Downtown Phoenix. And we thought we'd never see him here in downtown Phoenix. To run into him in this crowd is pretty crazy. So that was that was cool. We have to be pretty quiet. We're back here at Camp Cummins, and it's probably I don't know 10 o'clock at night. But check this out. How busy it is. Look at that. Every spot is full, but time to pack it in for the night. Taking our IKEA stuff in, and we're done. See you guys in the morning. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Today was mostly a work day. We just made a quick stop over here at Camping World behind us here. Had to get a couple of components. It's a short walk from the Cummins dealer, which is nice. And last night we had a great time, first Friday, downtown Phoenix, but. This is where we're gonna call this one. So if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date on all of our travels. It would be equally cool if you liked the video. We'll see you again next time. Bye, Bye now. That sun is really bright in the eyes.